The lovely Miss Nancy needed a new apron for work, so she got this. It's got pockets and stuff made by the fine folks that make things for Home Depot. One thing she doesn't like about them is this poly webbing. She doesn't feel like it's very sturdy. So what she's asked me to do is to replace it with some other uh, material that she found. She found this delightful little fanny pack uh, uh, from the fine folks at Riverside Resort and Casino. Apparently if you're in the Players Club then you get this fine, fine thing. Well, she wasn't that interested in the pockets. It seems like kind of a cool little bag if you're into that sort of thing. Personally I'd never <laughs> wear one, but hey man, right on. What she's interested in though is this belt that's on it. It's got a nice little belt. So my plan today is to extricate this belt off of here, remove these, reinforce it, and install those onto this fine apron and make her something she'll be proud to wear while she's at work. This is the J foot. I use it for regular everyday sewing, but when I want to do an overcast edge to try and seal it in because I'm too lazy to go set up the serger, I've got this overcast foot. I'm just going to try and tuck these bits in so that they don't destroy themselves through the vigorous activity of Miss Nancy's life, the hurly-burly of her day-to-day. Wow, man, look at that. <clears throat> it's nice and tight, and nobody's ever going to notice that those were ever there, and we took them off, and it's now sporting a set of straps. I mean, that looks kind of rough. You can kind of see how unhinged the edge is, but you look at this one, it's nice and clean. So I'm going to do that to this one too. Now we just got to take this thing apart and she said she doesn't want the bag and I can't think of anything that I'd do with the bag. I mean, what could you do with that? You could sew it onto a backpack, I suppose. There's a seam here. You could take that out and just put that onto a backpack and have this big gnarly couch. But I think it's going to sacrifice one for the cause and uh, we're just going to get rid of it. Really isn't any reason to keep it. Good thing is not really wasting any money here. This stuff all came from Goodwill and uh, it saved itself from the landfill and we're going to be able to get rid of some of it and use some of it. So maybe we can use this for another project. I don't know yet. But this we can definitely use. Alright, cool. So there's there's our belt. We just have to sew that onto the uh, apron. Okay, so these don't look too bad. I'm not going to overcast them. I'm just going to melt the little frayed ends back together. There we go. That's wonderful. <laughs> Beautiful, lovely, magnificent. Sweet, that's on, but uh, I'm going to throw a stitch across either corner just to make sure that it stays on. So 
sweet, then it going nowhere. There we go, look at that man, that's uh, I think that's going to make Miss Nancy quite proud, it's a neat little apron now. And instead of those terrible ties, it's got a really nice, sturdy industrial belt. Not a project made for a man, but it's done in a manly way, so I guess it's manly sewing. Eh, I like when stuff like this can happen. Cool.